Now you are able to see my screen, right? Yes, I can. Okay. So okay. we've missed a lot. I've missed a lot. No. no. So uh, last question, where are we? Oh, oh I think uh, we completed the time constraint one, right? It starts at um. Uh, Time constraint mm, one, right? Yeah, the input type, time dependent, and yeah, and the no yeah, overlap. Input type. type. So and also, I start. I completed. I time constraint as one. That is where you stopped. You are telling yeah. me about the input type and how to see overlapping and um, gaps. That's where. That's where you stopped. Yeah, info types. Uh, I and uh, for each info type, I told you oh, this. This are time cons uh, time dependent, and each info type yeah. is associated with the time constraints. And yeah. I told you the time constraint one, two, three, A, T, Z. Uh, yes. In that also, uh, I completed. Uh, what is time constraint one? Right. Yes. Yes. So. I given this example also, right? Hide, promotion, pay increment. Pay, yes, yes, yes. That was very stuff. Okay. So time constraint. Yeah. Once again, I am giving you like uh, uh, time constraint. One means uh, at any given point of time, you are, means we are going to have only one valid record without any gaps and no overlapping sub. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So here you can yeah. delimit the record, but you cannot delete it. Yeah. So you said yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So examples I given you info type zero, info type one, and info type thousand, and two also. One uh, zero, one two, and a thousand. Right. Yeah. Okay. Zero one two yes for that zero for that one and one two. in for two and in for that thousand also. Uh, uh, you just said an example of time constraints is in for that zero in for that one in for that two. That way, that is it. Thousand also you can write it down. Thousand okay. also okay. In for that a thousand. Yeah, okay. Okay. So info type I means time constant two. Okay, time constant two. Uh, at any given point of time, we are going to have only one valid record. So uh, here, gaps are allowed. Over no overlapping, sir. We are only going to have. We are going to have only one valid record. Okay. Without any overlappings. Here gaps are permitted. Oh, that's any overlapping. Okay. 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 So and you can delete and delimit. You can delete the record. You can delimit the record. Oh, in a. Um, the time constraint two. Yeah, time constraint two. At any okay. given point of time, you are going to. We are going to have only one valid record without any overlappings. Okay. Okay. But yeah, gaps are allowed. Gaps are allowed. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you can delete the record, and you can delimit the record. You can delete and can delimit. Okay. Delete and delimit both. Okay. 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 So example like see example like this. 
you okay see here you are having a gap right here for this and this yes so this end record is ending on 0 1 0 1 2 2 1 3 1 2 1 12 2 1 13 yeah right yeah so but the next record is starting from 0 1 0 1 2 2 1 15 to 3 1 15 like. yeah this between these two records there is no go, uh, overlapping but uh, there is a gap right? yes gap there is a gap allowed, yes hmm. but overlapping no overlapping no overlap okay okay yes 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 and the time constraint 3 okay time constraint 3 is nothing but uh, here at any given uh, at any point given point of time okay sorry at okay. any time okay we are going okay. to have okay. at any okay. given point of time we are going okay. to have Okay. It is not clear. Is Wait, sir. Hold, hold on. Your voice is is I don't know. There's something wrong with it. It's not clear. I don't oh, know. Oh. Maybe you moved it or something. No, no. no. At now that point, clear. I think. Okay. Yes, it's clear now. Yeah. So at any given point of time, we are going to have more than one valid record. Okay. But previous uh, things are only one valid record. But for yes. time constraint three, more than one value. More than one value record. Okay. Okay. So here mm. gaps are allowed, uh, overlappings are permitted. You can delete it. You can delimit it. Okay. Everything is possible. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So example for this is info type twenty two. Sorry? Info type 22. That's the example. Yeah. Okay. Can I have... <laughs> That's just it. Sorry? The example of it is info type 22. Yeah. For a time condition 3, uh, example, info type 22. Okay. Info type 22. Yeah. What is okay. info type info type twenty? There's no explanation I, to. No, I'll give you, I'll give you the list of info types. So I will know. Oh, okay. No, okay, just okay. 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 For info type uh, for time constraint two example is info type sixteen. Okay. For time constraint two example is. Info type sixteen. Yes. That's okay. sleepy. Okay. No, not sleeping. <laughs> just uh, oh, oh, make an upright just. Okay. okay. So then the time constraint A. Okay. Time constraint yeah. A means at uh, any given point of. So, sorry, sorry. There's a noise. I don't know. Yes, yes. That's the noise. Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Now it's clear? Dan, there's this noise on the background. It's like as if you're squeezing papers. Yeah, yes, it has stopped. It's as if now you're doing clear? something. No, now it's yes. clear? Yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, like uh, time constraint A. Okay. 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 So time constraint A means at any given point of time we are going to have only one record. Okay. See the difference uh, for time constraint 1 and 2. There what I said uh, at any given point of time we are going to have only one valid record. Valid record, okay. yes. But uh, here, only one record. One record. At, at any given point of time, we are going to have only one record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this record is starting from zero one zero one eighteen hundred to 
3129999. Okay, can you write it somewhere so that I can see it? Oh, oh, one zero one zero one zero one okay zero one eighteen hundred. Okay, please hold on. Please just yeah. one minute. Please one minute. Yeah. yeah. Hello, sorry. Yeah, I agree. It said um zero one zero one zero one eighteen hundred two. Okay, thirty one twelve nine 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 means for entire lifetime. See. Okay. Okay, right? Yeah. So this is the oh, record. That's why for entire means only you are having only one record. Mm, that's from the year 1800 to lifetime. Yeah. Okay. 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 So uh, we can modify. We can modify this record. Okay. We can do modifications to the this record, but you cannot delete and delimit. Oh. Okay, means we can yeah. do some changes for the existing record, yeah. but uh, we cannot uh, delete and delimit. Delimit, uh, okay. The records. Record. Okay. Yeah. Can only do changes to it. Yeah, we can only do changes to it. Okay. 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 So. That I example, don't know. Example in Photoshop. Okay. Three. Okay. Example. Example of okay. The example of time constraints A is in for type three. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, time constraint T. Time constraint T. Okay. So time constraint T. Uh, is nothing but like uh, in sub time constraints are depends on the subtype, not on the main info type. Okay. So I told you right, info types is also having subtypes. It's a four character, uh, right? Sorry, could you repeat it from the beginning? See, time constraint T is nothing but in time, whatever the time constraint uh, uh, as of now we discussed, in what time, time constraint 1, mm -hmm. 2, 3, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these 1, 2, 3's are depends on the subtype, not on the main info type. That, that is what T is talking about, that time constraint yes. 1, 2, 3 depends, depends on the sub, subtype. Okay. 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 Uh, here I will give a best example like uh, uh, address. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, address. Sorry? Address. Address. Yeah, address. Yeah. So, address, you can have multiple addresses, right? Yeah. See, your permanent address, like uh, you are from Nigeria, right? Yeah. So in Nigeria, you means you are holding your Nigerian passport like uh, you are, like if you are a student. You know, uh -huh. If you think okay, you uh -huh. are not a citizen in America, right? Uh -uh. Okay. So if you are a student, like uh, your permanent address is from Nigeria, right? Uh -huh. For example. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So your temporary address is in US. Yes. Right. Yes. So, and uh, you can maintain the emergency address, right? If anything happen, you can contact some other guy like, yeah, okay. yeah, right? Mm. So, emergency address. Yeah. And mailing or nursing, different kind of addresses you can maintain in the yeah. system. Okay. So, 
address info is a info type 6 okay uh, main info type address okay is info type 6 okay so again in the address these are all the subtypes permanent address temporary address emergency oh. address these are all the subtypes oh, okay okay so permanent address will be always one right okay right means uh, you can have, we, we should not have the gaps in that it should not overlap in all these things right okay i'm trying i'm really trying to understand it okay see address is a info type so i told you for some of the info types you can have uh, you can also have subtype subtype is nothing yes. again the subdivision of the info type yes right yes this this you know it right yes so again in the address like address is one main info type and uh, for address we are having subtypes uh, subtype uh, ad permanent address temporary address emergency address yeah. okay uh -huh. so emergency addresses let's say let's let's come from uh, bottom like emergency addresses you can have maintain you can maintain multiple means at a time uh -huh. you can maintain more than one okay yeah Right, you can contact your parents, or you can contact if you are married. Uh, you can contact your hubby. husband. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So means at a time you can you are maintaining the multiple uh, addresses. Yes. Means more than one. Yes. So which means you can assign. You we need to assign a time constraint three for that. Okay, for all the multiple addresses. Yeah. Okay. Not only all the multiple addresses. See, uh, multiple. Whenever you are maintaining the multiple records at the same time, okay. Yeah. So we need to give time constraint three. Okay. Okay. And okay. if you come to temporary address, okay. Temporary address, like uh, you can maintain some gap. Like for example, now you are in US. I mean, okay. like for example, otherwise, uh, let's say you were, okay, there was you, okay, sometime you were in UK, right? Yes. So, uh, in the UK also you are having temporary address, right? Yes. So, your permanent address is in Nigeria, but in UK you, ha you stayed somewhere, like that is your temporary address, right? Yeah. Yes. So, let's say after that you moved to your Nigeria. Okay. After that, you moved. You are there in Nigeria. In, that is your permanent address. Yeah. Okay. Then you come back to US. Yeah. Okay. So there is a gap in your temporary address UK and uh, your temporary address in US. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. So gap means time constraint two. It, okay. You are not overlapping the record, but you are means we are. Uh, just maintaining some gap, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's a. If you are allowing the gaps, means time constraint two, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, time constraint, uh, temp my permanent address. Permanent address. Uh, we are not changed anything. Like uh, it's a valid record at any given point of time. There is no overlappings and there is no gaps. Permanent address will be always uh, one, right? Okay. Okay. So, all the time constraints we already discussed, but these discuss okay. Whatever the time constraints we discuss, those are depend on the subtypes, not on the yeah. main info type. Main info type will be associated with the T time constant T, and the subtypes will be okay associated with the one, two, three depends on the requirement okay. okay okay so that's about time constraint t okay though i have asterisk t right now on my notes i i put an asterisk behind beside it but i'll go through this recording again you okay. know no, to see no, no, if no, no, no. Uh -huh, then if i have any issue i might come back to so that time constraint t hope you don't mind no, no problem no problem okay okay Okay, so okay. then uh, uh, one more thing like uh, uh, time constant Z. 
Yes. Right? Yeah. So, time constant Z is a, so you know the time time management info types, right? I gave you the list of uh, time info types ranges, right? Yes. So, 2002, 2999 are time management info types, right? If I watch. 2000. 2000. Yeah. yeah. 2002, sure. 2999. These are the time management info types, right? Uh, in the list. Okay. Uh, can, uh, can you write it? Can you, because 2000 is, okay, 2000 to 2999, right? Yes, 2999. Okay, these are time constraints. Time management info types, right? Uh, these are time constraints, Z. No, no. Yeah, these are the time management info types. All these uh, info types are associated with the time constant Z. Oh, okay. Okay. 2002, 2999 are the time management info types, right? Yeah. See, I gave you the ranges, like yeah, the double yeah, zero, double yeah, zero, yeah, two, yeah, 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 I've double seen nine, it, yeah. double nine. These are all yeah. means. Uh, this is the entire info types range. In that yes. again. Uh, double zero double zero two zero triple nine are PA info types thousand two thousand one triple nine are uh, OM info types two thousand two two triple yeah nine yeah nine yeah nine. yeah yeah so that, that that series I given to you right yes I know yeah so in that two thousand two two triple nine are time management info types right yes so these all the time management info types are associating with the time constant set oh okay. And uh, I'll yeah. tell you uh, again. I'll explain you this Z in detail in the time management. Okay. Okay. Now you can just okay. remember all the time management info types are associated with the time constant Z. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Then I'll explain. Two thousand two. Okay. Okay. Then okay. I'll explain. Two thousand. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Two thousand to two triple nine. Yeah, of course, there are time management uh, info types, constraints, but they are also associated with time uh, constraint Z, Z. Yes. Okay. 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 So, this is about time constraint. Okay. okay. I'll explain you in detail about this Z in the time management, okay, no with problem. an example. No problem. So then uh, now I'll give you the important uh, info types in OM which we are going to configure. You can see these are the info types. You can note it down. Okay, the OM info types. Yeah. So OM info type series is a thousand, two thousand, triple one, triple nine, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I should just so write this down. Okay. Info types, you can note it down. So in the thousand info types, we'll only use uh, 13 to 14 info types. Okay. We'll not okay. use all the thousand info types. Uh, We can only use 13 to 14. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So those 13 to 14 are, here I give you the list, okay, so you can note it down. Thousand object, thousand one relationships, thousand two description, thousand three department or mm -hmm. staff, okay, thousand four mm -hmm. character. character. 2005 planned compensation, okay, okay. Word, twice, 2006 restrictions, uh -huh. okay, so this, yeah, 
restrictions okay and uh, 1007 vacancy 1008 account assignment features account assignment okay. features 1009 health examinations mm -hmm. 1010 authorities or resources 1011 work schedules 1013 employee groups or sub group there's no there's no 1012 no 1012 is not okay so okay so so i gave you the range from 1000 to right 1 triple line but in that uh, okay we are using only these okay uh, instead of, uh, sometimes maybe you can okay in the real time you may come across uh, one or two one or others yeah, yeah okay but yeah. Um, mostly in these also some of the uh, clients they will not use all these okay, okay. info types only okay. that depends on the okay client to client okay. there is uh, okay Yeah. there may be okay a difference okay 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 so so you can see like did you get your uh, log on right yeah, yes i did okay so So this is the easy access screen. Okay. Mm. See, I mm. gave you the list of info types, right? Yes. So if you want to see these info types in the system, okay. Mm. Mm. So see, there is a transaction code called SM30, SM30. Mm. Okay. So I see, I typed it here in the command field. I typed it, right? Hmm. SM thirty. Thirty. Mhm. Mm so you can go to this SM thirty transaction code. Mm. You get the screen. So here it is. System is asking table or view, right? Hmm. So here you can enter T triple seven I. Okay. So T triple seven I is the table to view all the OM info types. Okay. Table to view all the info types. Yeah, all the OM info types, not entire. Okay, OM. Okay. Specific to OM info types. So, um, for me to view this um, um, thousand to thousand and thirteen info types, I have to go through SM thirty, and yeah. uh, on the table, table name seven seven. Mm. Okay. Okay. Click on. Here you can you are having display, right? Click on it. Yes. Yeah. See here. Thousand objects. Ah. Thousand one relation. Mm. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, mm. ten, eleven. Twelve is not there, right? Yes. Okay. So this yes. we are using. See. In the thousand one one of three seventy, right? Yeah. Actually means in this table you are having only three seventy entries, but oh. as if you reserved thousand entries for thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But in the yeah. thousand also you are having only three seventy. Three seventy. Three seventy also we are using only thirty, thirty wow. to forty. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See here, if you select this. Okay, this is this is a push button. Just like you are having small like, right? Yeah. This is a so select this, and see time constraint. You are having time constraint here, right? Yeah. So double click on this time constraint. See, time constraint one. This means for thousand. I gave you the example thousand for time constraint one, right? Yes. See, for thousand is associating with the time constraint one. 
Hmm. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, if you yeah. want to see the uh, some definitions for time constraints, okay, just click on F1 in your keyboard, okay, F1 mm -hmm. in your keyboard, like place the cursor here in the time constraint and click on F1, okay, so you get some documentation for that field, okay, see, time constraint 1 without gaps, time constant 2, mm. with gaps, time constant 3, unlimited. Unlimited. Okay? Yeah. So this is a help documentation. Okay? Help. Help documentation. Yeah, help documentation. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So you will also have... A sorry, assist. sorry, sorry. Con Sorry, can you do that again? Go back again. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> See. Uh -huh. You said she click on the microphone. Uh -huh. See. Click on time constraint. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Display. Display. Select. Post. Select is info type. And uh, yeah. And double click on time this time constraint. Time constraints. Double click. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then now you got this. So yeah. place so cursor is in the time constraint only. One, yeah. Just click on F one in your keyboard or here you are having an icon. Help. Yeah. Right? So yeah. click on this help. So you'll get this document. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay? Yes. This is a back, right? F three. Yes, yes, you said so, yes. Just give me one minute. I'll come back. Okay. When I didn't worry about that, it's how you see it, Michael. When I Hello? Hello? Yeah. So this is how you can view all the organization management info types, OM info, info types. types. Okay. 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 So see here now we need to create an organization structure. Right? Okay. Okay. By using our objects. I gave you the list of objects, right? Yeah. See. I gave you a table. Yes. See, this, this table yes, I gave yes, you, yes. right? Yes, I've seen it. Yes. I'll just, I was trying to look for it. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, see, to configure, okay? Hmm. Okay. Our structure. Yeah. See, this is the, I told you in the demo class in the first session, all the uh, application module have uh, modules are having common architecture and same uh, look and feel like same user interfaces and uh, right yes common work. see here here you are having accounting right hmm. accounting mm -hmm. in a sense this is a uh, finance right yes see here 
financial accounting, financial supply chain management, controlling, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. So this is all the means the finance guys will do the here. Largest six mm. here you will have materials, sales, okay, materials management, yeah. sales, mm. okay, production, production mm. process, okay, plan mm -hmm. PM, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So PS, all this, okay. Mm. So cross application components, okay. Mm. So means all the modules having all similar common architecture, but our HR is here, human resources, yeah. right? Mm. So expand this. See, you can see personal management, time management, mm -hmm. payroll, mm -hmm. training and event management, SAP learning solution, automation mm -hmm. management, travel management, right? Yes. So here now we are configuring organization management, right? Mm -hmm. Now we okay. are discussing about the organization management. So expand yes. this org management. So this small R icons are there, expand it. Mm. And uh, expand this expert mode. Actually, uh, in organization management, uh, there are different methods. Okay, to configure the organization structure. Okay, mm -hmm. so create okay. an organization structure. We are having different methods. So there is no any restrictions to use. Uh, only you need to use this method, and okay, there are there is no restrictions. Whichever okay. method is easy, and whichever method is uh, adaptable for you, and whichever method method is means you are comfortable with uh, which. Okay, you can use it. Okay. Yeah, whatever the method you are you want to use, you can use it. That yes. up to you, okay. But there yes. is no restrictions, okay. Yes. Now yes. expert mode. Expert mode is one of the method, okay. See, mm. these transactions I already given you in this table. See, T mm -hmm. code, right? Yes. So P O one zero, P O zero three, P O one three, P O zero one, P F C T, P P Z, okay, right? Yes. These already I gave you in the table. Yes. Right? Yes. So, to if you want to create an organization unit, okay. First, mm -hmm. we need to create an organization unit. Okay. Make uh, that our uh, structure is right. Like, uh, see this. Right. Like yeah. simple. A W I N C. Hansel, Atlanta, H R, yeah. Finance, Production, like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, no. We'll we'll take this uh, example. Okay, so organization unit. Okay, you if you know this transaction, you need not to come here. Directly you can enter the transaction here itself. Okay. Right? Yeah. That also we discuss. Yes, right. we did. Yes. So, otherwise you can double click on this. Hmm. See, this is the maintain organization unit. Okay. Okay. So, organization unit. Here you are having plan version, organization unit. Okay. So these are the info types: object, relationship, mm. description, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. So, current plan version. Current means plan version is you need to select the plan version. Okay. So make this field as blank. Okay, organization unit. Actually blank. Select the okay. object. Select the yeah. object. Okay. 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 So I'll explain you what is the plan version. Okay. 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 Just okay. forget about the plan version. No? Just yeah. you need to select one plan version. Yeah. But okay, it will be defaulted. Okay. okay. Yeah. So make this organization unit is fill is blank. Okay. 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 Select the object. Okay. Mm -hmm. Means object is input type thousand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Select the object and click on here in the application toolbar you are having create info type create change display copy okay delimit delete overview activate all these things okay mm, so yes. now select create mm. okay okay create okay so here you are having validity dates so, right yes so you need to give the start date of that okay organization yes. started like uh, so awinc is one organization so when was yes. it started okay mm -hmm. 
like uh, in in the in the year of 2000 or 2005 or 2006 then like okay or okay the same year okay yeah. so when they started their business when they established their organization okay that started okay. you need to give it here like 0 yeah. 1 uh let's say 2005 let's yes say. okay okay 2005 to 3112999 okay yeah yeah and here you can give ob object operation is nothing but it's a short name yes okay aw mhm mm mhm okay so object name here it's a full name yeah kapu kapu my name <laughs> Yes. Family Incorporation. Okay. Save. Yes. Here, here you are having save. Save. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. Save. Mm -hmm. So after saving this info type, system is calling the other info type 1001. Okay. Relationships. Okay. That's the one we saved. Yeah. So I I told you right uh, here means in the SAP we are having. Uh, uh, two types of relationships, A type and B type. B type, right? yeah. yeah. So, see, and after saving the input type 1000 object, okay, system is calling this, uh, calling for uh, 1001. See, 1001 is the relationships, right? Yes. You save this object 1000. 1000, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so system wants after, relationship. Yeah. So, means without, uh, if you give relationship, then only uh, system will show you the structure. Uh, without relation, without uh, okay relationship, there is no structure, right? Mm, okay, okay, yeah. So, but uh, just now we created a root argument. See, this is the topmost one, right? Uh, uh, this is a AWINC is the top, right? Yes, 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 so, yes. So this is not reports to anybody, right? See, it is asking A double zero two relationship. Oh, okay. 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 So mm. it, it's reports to, A002 is the reports to, but AWINC is the topmost one. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. It's a root, it's a root mm. armation. Mm. It's also called top, okay, highest one is called root armation unit. Okay, it's a root armation unit. It, it should not report, okay, to any yeah. other armation. Right? Uh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm lost there now. No. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 okay. No problem. We'll start again. See, AWINC is okay. the topmost one, right? Yes, is the topmost one. Yes. So, top or topmost one is also called as root organization unit. See, okay. imagine a tree. You'll have a root, right? Yes, definitely. So, once you uh, seed the okay paddy seed or any seed, if you oh okay like uh, into the ground if you plant into the ground you will yeah. first it will start with the root then root, definitely you will get some uh, branch trees small yes. trees then yes. the branches and uh, the fruits are one yes. right yes yes so this is also like this is also first this is the root is. okay okay and yeah. these are the branches branches and, uh, Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So now here this is the root organization unit, right? So yes. it will not report so this is the first one, it is not reporting to anyone. Yes, definitely not. Okay, right? So yes. now just you can cancel this. For the first time, for the first object only, you can cancel this. Okay? Okay, for that first object only. Okay. Only. Okay? Uh, okay. Cancel it. This is actually, these are called sh runtime error or short dumps. Okay. Mm. Mm. Runtime error or short dumps. Or what? Sh short or short? dump. Dump, dump. Short dump. Yeah. Okay. So what does this mean that is a problem? 
Yeah, there is a problem. Okay. Mm, call function RPM if yes, we calculate by your We will try one more time. Okay. Okay. So after saving this, mm -hmm. I'm just uh, going back. Okay. I'm not mm -hmm. saving this. One thousand. Okay. Just I'm going back. Somebody did something. Open error, error when opening RFC connection. This is not actually our issue. Mm -hmm. Somebody changed some ABAP. ABAP is the programming, right? Yes. See, error in the ABAP application program. Mm. The current ABAP, pro, ABAP program, CLRPM is, and I have to turn it because it has come across statement that unfortunately it cannot be. Okay, I'll show in other system. You will not get that issue in other system. So now I'm mm -hmm. just cancelling. See, now, see, we made this field as blank, right? When, when we are creating yeah. the, right? Yeah, it was, it was blank, yes. So now it, you are getting a one ID. Right? Yes. One yes. number. Yes. 5000 Yes. Right? This yes. is called object ID. Object oh. ID. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, here there are two kinds of system, okay? It's a eight digit unique key. Based on this, you can identify your objects. Okay? Based on that, those numbers, I can identify my objects. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, because see, in SAP, what I told you, every means, uh, root or unit and branch and departments, all are called organization units only, right? Yes. So, based on this number only, you can identify this is a department, this is a branch and this is a R root or unit like. Okay? Okay. So, now you created 
root R unit, Abley incorporation, right? Yes. So, so this ID is very very important. Note it down. Five triple zero six nine two five. Two five. Okay. Okay. Write it somewhere. Okay. I have. Okay. And again, I'm okay. Remove this. Okay. Okay. Selecting the object and clicking on create. Okay. Now I am creating a branch. So as per our example, Hansville, right? Yes. Okay, here give Hansville. Yes. Okay. That, okay, okay, okay. So Hansville branch. Okay, like Hansville I am giving here like uh -huh. Branch. Yeah. Okay, it's a branch. Okay. 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 And save it. Uh -huh. So now see this is a branch, Huntsville branch. Mm. Is reporting to AWINC, right? Yes. Okay. So yes. now th this is an R unit and this is an R unit. These two are the R units only, right? Yeah, yeah. See here. So this is an R unit and type of related object is also R unit. So mm -hmm. there is a relationship between O to O. R yes. unit is object type O, right? Yes. So there is a relationship. We need to create a relationship between O to O. Okay? Hansville yes. is a branch and again reports to. It is reporting to AWINC. AWINC, yes. So that ID, whatever the ID, just now you wrote it down, right? Uh, five triple zero six nine two five. Yes. See, it's asking ID of related object. Objects. Okay. So that ID you need to enter here. Five triple zero six nine two five. Yes. Enter. So means, see now you need to read like this. Hansville branch reports to to A W I N C. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Right? Yes. So now you are creating A002 means one type. Okay? From okay, Huntsville side you are creating means you are creating a bottom up relationship and the, the quite opposite relationship B002 that system will take care. Okay? Is line supervisor. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Save it. See now if you enter this 525 and select the relationship and if you mm. click on overview, mm. see system is created B002, right? Yes. See, you see this. Now, Avli incorporation mm -hmm. is line supervisor of Huntsville. This is this we are not created. System will take care. Oh, the system just took care of it. See, we oh. created only A oh. double zero, hey. right? Yeah, yeah. The system created B. Okay. Yes, system will take care. If you create one one type of relationship, other type will be taken care by system. System. Oh, yeah. I think I explained it already. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, again, you need you can create one more other branch like Atlanta is there, right? So yes. This field is blank. Okay. Create. Give the date here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dates are very very important in SAP, right? Yes. Because it's a date driven concept. Means not only SAP, HR. It's oh. a date driven concept. Yes. Atlanta. Right? Yes. Safe. So this is also reporting to. AWIS. AWIS, yes. So the same, right? Mm, yeah. So if you remember this ID, you can uh, type it. Otherwise, if you are not remembered, yeah, uh, you, you just remember this name. AWIS. Yes, you can give AWINC. Mm. Okay. Enter, yes. So this is also it will get. Okay. Yeah. So now save it. Okay. Now mm. if you want to see the structure. If you want to see the structure, okay, there is a transaction code called PPOS 
underscore old. Why I am using slash o means I don't want to close the screen. I want I am opening in a new window. New yes. Other yes. screen. So yes. slash o followed by your transaction code p p o s underscore old. Old. Mm. Okay. Enter yeah. this. You will get this screen. Here you need to enter your root origination number five triple zero six nine two five zero. Enter this and click on it. See here. This is the tree structure. Okay. So five triple zero six nine Avli Incorporation in the Huntsville and, and Atlanta. 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 Okay. Yes. So if you want to see the graphical structure, place the yeah. cursor here. Yeah. Place the cursor here. Yeah. And click on this structural graph. Structural graphics. Uh. Okay. Yes. So this is a simple structure. I will incorporation, uh, yeah. Huntsville branch, Atlanta branch. Okay. Mm, yes. Now the other will other things will create. Okay. Again, okay. make this fill as blank. Select the object and click on create. Yeah. Give it eight and HR. Once, once, here also. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Just don't you don't click on the enter no, yet. I, I want to see. It. Okay. HR. Okay, okay, okay. Continue, continue. I'm just okay. referring to my notes. Okay. Okay, okay. So save it. Okay. So now this is reporting to the uh, Hansel, Hans right? Hansel, yes. So Hansel is uh, two six. You can enter yes. this two six. Okay. Hansel is six nine. Six nine two six. Right? See here. Six nine two six is the ID for Hansel. Hansel. Right? Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Save it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Again, make this field as blank. Blank. Select the object yes. and click on create. So give a date. Yeah. No. So we keep giving the same dates from the beginning because they all started Unless, together. I'll I'll see I'll tell you. I mean, so you can give the different dates also, but for in the training you can just give same dates. Okay. 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 To get to don't get the date problems. Oh, okay. 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 So again, this is also mm. reporting to Hansel. Yes. Okay. Save mm. it. Yes. And create one more like uh, our production is there, right? Yes. So select this and click on create and give the date. Date. Okay. PRD. Production. Production. Save it. Now Save this is uh, reporting to Atlanta. Atlanta, right? yes. So Atlanta is two seven. Two seven, yes, yes. Okay. Save. Now if you go to the structural graphics, mm -hmm. close this. Okay, close this and yeah. come back. Means you, again, uh, you can open the screen. Okay, see refresh here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, select yeah. this and click on the structural. Structural graph. graphics. So, oh, all the corporation, Hansel branch, Atlanta branch. branch, human resources, finance, yeah. production. Production. And this is oh, the okay. same thing, right? Yes. Hansel, Atlanta, yeah. HR, finance, production. Yes. Right. The same thing we. Yes. We the same thing. Here. Yes. Right. Yes. So like this, you can increase the branches and you can increase the departments. Put more departments. Okay. Yeah. So this is how you can create it. Like uh, see, if you expand this here also, you can see the tree structure in the tree structure also. See under Huntsville, you are having HR and FI. Under yes. Atlanta, you are having PI. Yeah, production. Okay. Right. Yes, yes. This yes. is a tree structure, and that was a graphical structure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. So you got some idea, right? Yes, I do. 
see these are the unique id c this is 6925 this is 6925 yes, this is 6927 this is 282923 yes. unique id yes okay? yes so this unique id system is generating right mm, yes that's called internal internally system is generating external mm. you can also give that is external yes the one we give okay yeah. internal is system generating the one okay external yes. you can give it that I will tell you how to create how to give the internal range and external range. okay okay, okay. that okay. I will tell you in the further sessions yeah, okay. but for just as of now just you can create this mm, okay. yes 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 in your pack in your system for yeah. practice you can uh, you was you worked in uh, some company in Nigeria, right? Yes. So just imagine that company. Just only okay. imagination here. Okay. Okay. Yes. You are implementing means just imagine any company in US also. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just imagine uh -huh. a company. Yeah. Okay. So and this creates. is a company. These are having these branches. These are having these okay. departments and, and okay. like that. Just mm -hmm. imagine and try to create a bigger one. Just I I'm just okay. for practice session. Okay. Just okay. I for explanation I just given created this simple yeah. structure. Okay. But okay. you can create uh, what how many you want like okay. you, you can create so many. Oh, okay. That's why then you will get uh, some like uh, idea good knowledge like uh, yes. you will get right. It will be yes. better if you yes. create uh, yes bigger. Structures. I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. 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 Uh, that's that's the thing. So today I'm stopping just for your work. Okay. Okay. Create okay. It. And tomorrow I'll explain you the other uh, info deck. Just we now we say uh, discussed about only object and relationship, right? Okay. And yes. And I'll tell you the description. Department of account, account assignment. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Other okay. info types. Why we are using these info types and what is the important and what is the need and uh, uh, okay. Okay. I'll tell and you the uh, okay. How to um, clean, how to maintain all these things. Okay. Um, I asked the question before. I don't know if you tell me later on or um, I asked. Um, you said we can use different dates. It not necessarily we should use the same dates. For see for practice for practice okay. we can you, use you use the same, the same date. I'll tell you the, uh, why uh, when you can use the different dates. Okay. In the next session. Okay. okay. No problem. First, see you are a beginner. Okay. Mm. See like uh, for a baby with the three months or four months, mm. directly you cannot feed the rice or whatever the grains, right? Mm. Right. Like yeah. it's like you now you are a baby in the SAP. Okay. Mm. So <laughs> once you okay uh, yeah. understand the process, like uh, if, yes. screens, once yeah. you're familiar with the screens, once you yeah. make, uh, okay familiar with these uh, topics, okay, then you, okay, yes. you can do whatever you want. You can like, uh, but for if I give you everything in one day, uh, so, oh, I definitely okay. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> That's why I'm giving it slowly. Okay. Yes, so that I understand. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'll I'll explain you. Or you can okay. when you can give the um, different dates. Okay. And if you give okay. the different dates, what you will get? The, what what kind of problems you will get? It. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So okay. That that I will explain you. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for today. Yeah. I hope your system works tomorrow because it's getting no, very it, interesting. No, it will work. I I <laughs> bought a new headphone. Like actually, internal mic is not working in my laptop. So oh, okay. I bought an external mic, okay. Okay. So means with a headphone, with a headset, okay. Yeah, so okay. that's why. So actually, uh, day before yesterday and two days, okay, I tried I means, uh, to do something, but it's not yeah. working. And okay. then I, I I bought the new one. Okay. Okay. I'm glad. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So it no will problem. work. No, no, not a problem. Oh, okay. Okay. No need to worry about that. Okay. 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 Thank you so, so much for today. Yeah. Yeah. Good See day. you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah.